Welcome to the first lecture on game theory. Now in this video we'll discuss what actually is game theory, what are its applications, what are the basic elements and assumptions in game theory. To a large extent it can be said that the most dynamic principle that governs our existence is interaction. We interact with each other within varied frameworks such as social, political, economic, military, so on and so forth. It is not just humans who interact, but businesses, processes and technology. Almost everything interacts with every other thing. And this inevitable interaction warrants the finest strategy and optimal decision making. Right from choosing toothpaste to choosing the right financial portfolio, every one of us is a player in this grand game called life and is expected to make a sound rational decision through strategic interaction with other players. And to assist us in our endeavor and our pursuit of happiness, we have a fine companion in game theory. As Wikipedia puts it, game theory is the study of mathematical models of strategic interaction among rational decision makers. So game theory provides a mathematical framework to model wide variety of decision problems. While game theory is imperative for many disciplines, it is indispensable for the study of economics. Two competing firms having identical products in perfect competition having to choose an equilibrium strategy to decide the pricing of the product is an example of game theory modeling in economics. In the field of politics, the decision that how should candidates position themselves along a political spectrum is a typical game theory telling problem. In biology, there have been numerous incongruous behaviors. For example, consider the case of worker bees that slog their entire life to nourish queen bee and never mate. Evolutionary game theory has been used to explain such inconsistent behaviors. In computer science, algorithmic game theory helps understand and design algorithms in strategic environments. From philosophy to operational research, game theory offers its coffers in full to anyone who approaches it with utmost dedication and interest. Before we embark on our voyage in the inspiring world of game theory, let us quickly look at basic elements and assumptions in game theory. At the heart of game theory lies a game. Any competitive activity whose outcome depends on the strategic interaction between two or more decision makers, better known as players, is a game. Chess, football, boxing, etc are examples of games and so are missile defense, price wars and management negotiations. All the strategic decision makers within the context of the game are players. Players could be competing individuals who say as in chess could be competing firms in a duopoly. In the context of the game, every player encounters a decision problem characterized by three fundamental questions. First, what are the possible choices? Second, what is the result of each of these choices? And third, how does each outcome affects the player? These questions now help us formalize three basic concepts of action, outcomes and payoffs. The set of all possible choices that a player has is called actions. Actions result in possible consequences known as outcomes. Each player receives a payout from each outcome which is known as the payoff. A payoff function assigns quantifiable value to ordinal payoffs ranging from money to utility. A very interesting example in game theory is the game of matching pennies played between two players, player one and player two. Now each player has a penny and must secretly turn the penny to heads or tails. The player then reveal their choices simultaneously. If the pennies match both heads or both tails, then player one keeps both pennies, wins one from player two, resulting in plus one for player one and minus one for player two. If the pennies do not match one head and one tail, player two keeps both pennies so receives one from player one, 
that is minus one for player one and plus one for player two. Now in this game, each player has two choices. So thus action set has two elements. Either they can play heads or tails. The interaction of two players choices results in four outcomes. We can represent these four outcomes on a matrix. So suppose here we have player two and here we have player one actions. So player one can play heads tails and player two can play heads and tails. So we have four choices, heads heads, heads tails, tails heads and tails tails. Now if we get heads and heads, then in that case, player one gets the payoff plus one and player two gets a payoff minus one. Now in case of heads and tails, minus one for player one and plus one for player two. Now if it is tails and heads, then again it'll be minus one plus one. And in case of tails and tails, it'll be again plus one and minus one. So we can represent the action set outcomes and payoffs using this game matrix. Another way to represent matching pennies game is by using a decision tree using branches and nodes. So first we have this player one. Now player one has two choices. Either he can play heads or tails. Now simultaneously here player two can play either heads or tails. So this is simultaneous node and this is for player two. So this is called as decision tree representation of the game. Now we can write their payoffs. So if it is heads heads, then it is plus one for player one and minus one for player two tails minus one plus one tails and heads minus one plus one and then tails tails it is plus one and minus one. So we can represent a game using the game matrix or we can represent a game using a decision tree. Now before moving forward, let us examine some assumptions in game theory. Now first assumption that we have is rational choice assumption. Now rational choice assumption asserts that a player's choice in choosing between potential actions will choose the action that gives him the highest possible payoffs. So the rational choice assumption in case of matching pennies imposes the condition that both players know all the possible actions, all possible outcomes and the possible payoffs from each outcome. If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page, click playlist and select the topic you wish to study.